Welcome back to another adventure with us, Benny and Mika. In this episode from our travel vlog series of Thailand, we'll be exploring the whimsical town of Pai, a place like no other that's known for its laid-back alternative lifestyle, along with stunning landscapes and mesmerizing natural events that take place. During our stay, we'll be trying to uncover as much as we can that this beautiful region has to offer, such as caves with hidden surprises at sunset, a canyon with incredible views, beautiful rice terraces, a sea of clouds, plus a few extra goodies along the way. So before we get into it, and if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you're notified when our next videos go live. Grab some drinks and snacks because we're going on an adventure to Pi. Okay, so we are on the bus. We are heading to Pai now. We've got a small shuttle bus. It, how much was this? About 500 baht for both of us? Yeah, I think it was about 500 baht. So about $20 for both of us to go for a supposedly four hour journey, but I've read reviews that it can take two and a half hours depending on how confident the driver is, so. Fingers crossed ours goes quick. <laughs> um, and also to mention that apparently the drive here has 180 turns. It had on the ticket, it said <laughs> recommend to take Karsik uh, tablet, which we haven't taken. We didn't, instead we had four meals. So this is what, this is the tofu bowl. Must be. That's the cauliflower bowl. Okay. We need a table. Yeah, that'd be good if my bag transformed into a table. We got four. <laughs> they must have thought there was four of us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that should help. But it was so worth it. That delivery was so good. Oh, it was unreal. So it's going to make our adventure pretty cosy, I think. We've got a bit of water to keep ourselves hydrated with. And yeah, just buckle up because you never know what might happen. <laughs> Okay, so we are at a rest stop. You doing some stretches there, babe? <laughs> oh yeah. How bloody windy is that road? It is so windy. I actually feel so nauseous. They weren't kidding when they said how many turns they are. Really weren't. In my stomach, it just feels like it's just going. Yeah, we're just like falling on top of each other. And he doesn't take them slow. He's a speedy Gonzales. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be there like an hour early. Hopefully we're not too upset in the tummy to eat. Uh, that never happens for us. Nah, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Well, good morning. We've arrived in Pai. We had an awesome night's sleep last night. We're in this wicked little hut, sort of nested away in the jungle. It's a really cool spot. We're going to be going to get our scooter now. We're going to get dropped into town by the lovely hosts. And then, yeah, go check out Pai and get some breakfast. Bloody cup, Kang. <laughs> Come on in, darling. <laughs> <laughs> I did that last night as well. So smooth. <laughs> Oh, and the horse. Oh, wow, how beautiful. We didn't get to see any of this last night, did we? No. Hey, thank you very much, King. Yo, yo, <laughs> cup you. on cup. Have a good day. Have a good day. Bye bye. Okay. Alright, so let's go and find ourselves a scooter shop, eh? Well, so we've got plenty of choice, apparently. Well, I was thinking, why don't we go get Bricky first? Okay. And then get scooter out. We have been craving tofu scramble, haven't we? Yum. So we just finished breakfast. We had a huge breakfast. We're absolutely stuffed. Yeah, tofu scramble, vegetables, and then a fruit salad. So now we're just going to go for a little walk around the town because we didn't get to see much last night and just see what the main street's like. Oh my gosh, you're too cute! And look at this big pod. Mm. Wow, and this huge hive. I've never seen anything like that. Hello! So we've just gone through a little walk through the little town and we came across the cutest little bridge and there's like all little huts that you can stay at. It's so cool. For 
all the Aussies out there or anyone that has been, it's like the Byron of Thailand. Yeah, it's really like chill, like really cute cafes, like everything's slow paced, everything's like relaxing and I don't really know. just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so weed is legal in Thailand now, so there's like lots of little cannabis stores and like cannabis cookies that you can get and they kind of like have it set up so you can just chill out. But yeah, it's really nice. We're just going for a walk now along this little river. I dare ya to jump on the water wheel and try and run it. The accommodation is so cute. It's like these little huts that you can get and you can stay along the river and they're pretty inexpensive really. Alright, so we're going for a bit of a walk up the street now and we're going to be getting a scooter. We're going to be going to the Pie Canyon later on for the sunset. I think it'll look quite nice. And oh, Tronny's pretty excited to get off her feet. She's getting a blister on her toe. Alright, so we got our scooter. It was 300 baht per day. Now we're heading to the Pie Canyon Park in Feels like something out of a dinosaur movie. <laughs> it's like a super short hike too. Like it only took what five minutes to get to the top. Yeah, I think if that mm. there was one little part we had to scramble through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally sliding around. But it's free to come, which is surprising because there's a lot of people coming here. Wow, this has been such a nice sunspot. <laughs> it's been sunspot. <laughs> <laughs> sunset spot. This is a great place to come for sunset, and I think it's been the best way to end our first day in Pi. But yeah, it was absolutely beautiful. It does draw a crowd, so sunrise also would probably be a nice time to come. <laughs> I feel like I'm part of an ant colony. <laughs> <laughs> cool. We've finally got a moment to enjoy our awesome resort. Pai Pantong Resort. We have been eating so much food that we just haven't been at home to enjoy it and we've spent the whole afternoon here. It is tranquil at its finest. We have beautiful gardens, little swings to be playing on. We've got our own private little spot in the forest. It is amazing. This is so nice. Like, it's so quiet everywhere. Like, you can just hear the birds. We're waiting for the sunset to come in. There's mountains. It's literally the best. And we've made friends with the dog. We don't know its name, but it's very kind. Ben is the favourite because he pats it the most. <laughs> but she's so sweet. She sleeps outside of our room. And we think that we've got little mice friends in the walls. Because <laughs> <laughs> at night time we could hear them like running around. And I was literally so scared. But it's completely sealed, so they can't go inside our room. I think they're just on the outskirts of it. Probably the best time lapse incoming <laughs> and this beautiful view for sunset. It was so cloudy, we didn't think we were going to get much of a sunset at all, but it ended up being the most beautiful sunset. The brightest pinks and oranges. It's always the best way to end your day, isn't it? It is, it's so picturesque. Just those little low lying clouds just bouncing off the top of the mountain. <laughs> Colourful. <laughs> Okay, so 
Good morning. It's about 12.30. Yeah, it's a good morning. <laughs> yeah, we had like a big sleep in. We were so tired. We've just been like relaxing and chilling out. We have been in Pi for a couple of days. We've done a few little bits and bobs here and there, some sunset points, but most of the time we've just been relaxing, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> but now we're about to go head off to some hot springs. It'll be our first activity for the day. What's it called again? It's called Side Nam Hot Springs. Sometimes these go really well. Other times I'm like, where the hell am I? <laughs> so yeah. As we go, oh, we'll go. So four hundred and twenty baht. Yeah, four twenty. Good number. <laughs> We've made it to the entryway of the hot springs and it instantly got cooler in the shade of the tree so this hot spring is going to be perfect. Wow this is so beautiful we're going to cross the bridge here and pop our stuff down claim a little spot under the shady tree and then we're going to take a dip look how beautiful this is it's cascading. I can literally feel the heat like coming off from here I think it's going to be so toasty. Oh I can't wait to get in. These hot springs are set in beautiful scenery with nature in every direction. After soaking in the waters, we felt very relaxed and even more content with venturing further out into the countryside. We just stopped off on the way to the Themlod Cave and this has been an epic drive. We've been weaving through the mountains, there's like been massive tree canopies, rolling hills hasn't there? It's just beautiful hills just one after another and the range is so nice to be driving through. But we've come up to like an opening now so we can kind of like look out and it's absolutely awesome. Ben only brought one pair of shorts and he decided to swim in them so he's been wet and then where my legs are like wrapped around him all my dress is wet. <laughs> <laughs> we're hoping they're gonna drive on the way. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna make our way to Themlod Cave. Yep. I think we've got about half an hour left. Hello! Hello! Short little drive later. Some beautiful winding ranges and here we are at Namlod. Well, almost at Namlod. <laughs> we're at the Namlod Cave Nature Reserve and Education Centre. It's super beautiful. There's like heaps of greenery, heaps of trees. I think you can stay here. It looks like there's some accommodation, which would be really nice because I think a lot of people want to come here at sunset because of all the birds and the bats that fly around the cave and they say it's the natural phenomenon. So I think that's why they're here. Oh, wow. There's like beautiful plants. It's very like rainforesty, isn't it? Mm. And this is one of the most impressive caves, I think, here in Northern Thailand. So we're excited to go in. You can rent a bamboo raft. You're not allowed to go in on your own. You have to take a guide with you. And I think they have it by lantern, which huckles up. That is really cool. We did run into a slight predicament where we thought we were gonna come across an ATM and we chanced it and <laughs> we didn't see any ATMs. So I don't know what we're gonna do there. Hopefully they have a card. Yeah, hopefully we can scrounge <laughs> enough together. <laughs> but I'll try and pay with hugs and kisses. <laughs> What was your name? Uh, Sang Lao Vi. Sang Lao Vi? Yes. Oh. I'm Ben. Ben. Tamika. <laughs> nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> After signing into the registry and paying our entry fees, which was 250 baht per person for the two cave option, we then followed our guide along the path and towards the cave. Ha 
I look like a booby. <laughs> <laughs> As we wandered deeper into the cave to marvel over the unique formations, we felt it had exceeded our expectations and were mesmerized at what nature had created. But the show's not over yet. Upon exiting the cave, we were greeted with a natural phenomenon. From tens of thousands of birds flying around the cave entrance right on dusk. The spectacle had us in awe from watching them going around and around, while off in the distance the sun was setting and giving way to pastel orange skies, giving us a picture perfect ending to our day. Alright, so it's very early in the morning, and we have gotten up to go see the Sea of Fog. We read the forecast that there's supposed to be a lot of precipitation. We're going to be going up to a viewpoint. Now hopefully be looking out into the valley that is not to be seen because of all the fog, so fingers crossed this early wake up wasn't in vain. So we have made it to the Yunli viewpoint. Wow. I didn't think we were gonna be struggling to find a place to see the sunrise. Like it looks so beautiful but I mean, it's hard to find a little spot, isn't it? Yeah. I can't believe how many people got up for this. It's crazy. I mean, it is absolutely incredible, but I think this might be the busiest sunrise point I've ever seen. Yeah, even the monks are up here. <laughs> Okay, so this vlog has been a little bit all over the place. We've kind of found ourselves just absolutely chilling, which I think Pi is kind of known for. And yeah, we've just been loving it here. We've been relaxing, the rice fields, the greenery, the mountains. We've gotten seen some sunsets, literally just recouping and relaxing. It's been so lovely. But we're about to go to a cafe now and Apparently it has a little turtle there, so we're going to get an iced coffee and have a little chill out and then go find somewhere nice to hang out for sunset. It's our last night here, but we have tomorrow morning as well, which will be really fun. So we have made it to Art Farm Cafe. It is so picturesque. It's a little art shop, but it has a tortoise that calls this place home and a really nice outdoor sitting area where you can just come and relax. Is it? Really good. Really? Okay. So you got an iced chocolate with sweet milk and I got an iced latte. Oh, he looks very grumpy in that photo. <laughs> Doesn't he? Yeah. Someone's been mowing my grass short. <laughs> so we just left that really cool cafe and we drove past this spot and we think this might be an amazing spot for sunset. We've got the mountains, we've got a little river and there's like a little spot for us here to sit. 
the Pai Canyon is absolutely beautiful for sunset, but the one thing that kind of spoils it a little bit is, I'm not even joking you, there is over a hundred people there that you have to share the space with, and I don't know, I don't mind doing that, but when you find somewhere a little bit more secluded, it feels so special. So we're gonna hang out here for sunset, and wow, it is really turning it on. Can you see that? What do you think of the spot we found? It is so lush. Look at those sun rays. The cutest little dog has gone into the water there. So we're crossing the river. Who would have expected that you sink so much? Oh. <laughs> oh my God. But nonetheless, this spot was so beautiful. Wow, I'm in love with it. Pai has some really amazing views. Good morning. A very bright early morning for us here. Yeah. It's our last day in Pai and we wanted to get in the last few attractions we haven't seen here before we get on our bus back to Chiang Mai. And we've decided to come to the Bamboo Bridge. This is like the main tourist attraction I would say that was built in Pai. So we were skeptical of it, but it is actually really cool. Yeah, definitely want to come here before anyone else's, which means setting that alarm. Yeah. And when you do, you get here, it is very tranquil. The little buffalo are just waking up. They're starting to wander through the rice paddies. You got the birds, there's birds everywhere. It's really, really pretty. Plus, this time of year, there's so many wildflowers. So yeah, we're gonna have a little wonder. All the little shop vendors aren't even awake. We've seen a couple of monks and so many happy little paws running around. <clears throat> but we're gonna have a little look through now and just enjoy this complete serenity. This brings our time in Pai to an end. We had the most wonderful time exploring this small town in Northern Thailand, surrounded by valleys, hot springs, canyons, and even caves. This little alternative town was everything we expected and more. Organic lifestyle and slow living seems to be a highlight of this place. On that note, we are leaving the mountains behind and we're off to our next destination, Krabi. So join us next week for an exciting few days of island hopping, trying local food, and so much more. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so you can come along for the adventure too. Alright, see you next week. Bye!